Uh, the, the, the quality of playing, they play very well. They play with a long action, with a lot of defense, but not only uh, with the team playing, but also individual. They have a lot of strong player with experience, international experience, with uh, strong, uh, strong uh, matches experience. And we know they are the champion of Champions League. And this is this means for uh, itself. Oh, I think it's a very difficult question because they have a lot of great players. And it's really, I think it's not fair to choose only one player from this team that is that is the best or is the greatest one because they have all uh, a lot of stars that they can be player like this. It's like Simon the Czecho or the young star coming Jan, uh, Lucarelli. It's really difficult to choose only one. So it's like very good team this year and also last year. So I will not not decide to choose only one player. Thank you. Ah, quello più, quello più grosso ha preso, quello più grosso. Sì, non vedo il 
Saluto mia figlia, ciao amore. Well, hello there and a warm welcome to you to the CV Champions League. What an evening we have in store here. Two of the best teams in Europe in one of the ties of this round. We are in Poland, Rupa Zotizaksa, Gizershin Kocola up against Gina Lube, David Tanova, the reigning champions, the first ever champions from Poland, Zakta up against one of the best teams of this decade in Lube. Well, Louis Let with you here in the commentary booth for a game that the volleyball community have been looking forward to the entire week. That for sure, Zakta was sensational last year, and they're playing at home this evening against Lube, the other two teams in the group, Novaburg and Maribor, that game happened yesterday. Both teams are currently undefeated in Pool C as we are at the halfway stage after this game. Undefeated, Saxa have dropped the one set that maybe first earlier on in the group stages. Blue Bay have gone 3-0, 3-0 in a season that has been up and down where they've struggled to pick their strongest side down to injuries and both teams have had issues with games being pulled off as of late with COVID in the Pitmax interview, American Middle for Zach and David Smith, speaking very much about the fact that both teams have to get back in rhythm and both teams have to find their way. Zach might be the champions, they might be playing at home, but some would feel they are still even the underdogs against the Lube team. Currently sitting in third place in Syria, backed up a 14 and 14 in the Polish league, and they look unstoppable. But, well, there's a man who played in the final against Saxa last year, Ricardo Lucarelli, joined from Trento, who wears first club out of Brazil. That's silver in the Champions League last year. And just a dream run for Saxa, wasn't it, Dave? made some changes though, the likes of, well, French Olympic gold medalist Benny Toniuti has left alongside world champion Pavel Kowalski and Jakob Kopanowski. And a much change lineup is actually in two, in includes, sorry, the change of coach, Nikola Gerbic at Perugia now, the team at the top of Syria, Roger Ketu, who's very, very experienced at the top level of the game. There's Robert Landis Dumont, who doesn't really need much introducing in the world of volleyball. Then one of the top scorers in this competition, Gabby, the opposite, he's had a lot to do in this season with Ivan Zaitsev missing a large chunk of the opening rounds of the season. Zaitsev is back. It'll be interesting to see what head coach and Lorenzo Blentini 
can close poorly. Pirelli got on the outside, but Nant has also had Marlon Jan Carrera from Cuba has also been impressive and very, very high in that way on the outside. That, that, well, they've won their first two already, as we know. And they haven't lost the group stage match in well, they're undefeated in 2019, 2020, 2020, 2021. There is, it was the best middle blocker in this competition last year. And even looking at the roster first of Lube, his right step is back, and, and as he has been before Christmas, Luciano De Deco, the setter, should be leading everything to make the best setter in the Olympic Games. They have strength and depth throughout that side. Ricardo Luperelli, as we've mentioned, is one that also was out for. Well, Smith was the best middle blocker number 15 last year, but Lucas Kazmarek was the best opposite. Bob Cora in this competition so far with 32 points. Alexander Stripper is one of him in fifth place with 33 points. Change in the second department, Martin Janusz has come in alongside Michal of Lofsky this year, replacing Benjamin Taniuti. All eyes on this man then, Ricardo Lucarelli, Anton Matuza. Well, best outside hitter at Rio 2016. 21 individual awards in his career. Won the Brazilian League, but he's looking to win trophies away from home. And there is Lucas Kazmarek. So far, so good for the opposite man. He's high at 204. He able to hit his way over and past just about everything. Signed from Lubin in 2018. He was the MVP of the Polish Super Cup in 1920 season as well. Well, confirmation once again for what should be just a fascinating game between two heavyweights. We're not far away from the start of this one. Also, big names in the Lube side, isn't there? Marquisio has, well, won three Champions League medals, two with Lube for a Lube team who have won the Champions League twice, 2018, 19, 2001, 2002. One thing we know with Poland, is that the fans turn up in abundance. Well, it's a repeat of last year's quarterfinals. Vaxa won 3-1 in Italy. Then lost 3-0 here in Poland, but that's 16-14 in the golden set. Was what really got the ball rolling for them. They went and did the same as Zenit Kazan before beating Trentino in the final. This is a battle of the heavyweight that has hurt them.
Well, Zaxa have only lost two Champions League matches without claiming a step on both occasions. It was against Lube. One of them was in the quarterfinals last year, but it doesn't matter, does it? They came back and won it in that golden step. Laszlo Adler from Hungary, Vladimir Kaminovic from Switzerland will have the absolute pleasure to officiate this game. Now, Kazmarak is the one to watch out for this evening, as is Ricardo Luparelli, but it really is a feast of talent for both sides. There is Gabi Garcia Fernandez, the opposite, who's played a large part of this season, having signed straight from BYU. There's Ivan Zaitsev in the background wearing number nine. Shows that they'll have strength probably from the bench tonight through Zaitsev, who was out for some time at the beginning of the season. Well, Gabby, who was the best scorer and best opposite in the Pan American Cup. There is obviously a start for Luca Relli, Robert Landy, Simon, who's just seemed to carry this Lupe side at times, but they haven't had a full strength team this season. Luciano Tepeco starts, and Zani will start in the middle with Robert Landy, Simon, and Jan. Get the start on the opposite outside. They will be very physical on the wings this evening. There is Pian Lorenzo Blengini, former Italian coach. Because Silver at 20, 16, just turned 50 in December. Well, for Zaxa, they've had 30% perfect receptions this year, which is just above Lube. This is in the league. The Pistics, 1.3 ace to step. Not quite as much as Lube. So we know where this game will be fought in the passing and serving battle here. David Smith will get a start, who's won MVP in France, as well as that best middle blocker. Eric Shoji, the American libero, who's been in Russia as of late. Marcin Janusz will start as the set of opposite Smith and Norbert Hoover on the wings, Livka and Stiminuk on the outside. That's pretty exciting. We know farewell that this is the clash of the Titans. Roger Ketu is the man in charge who, as we mentioned earlier, has taken over from Nikola Gravich, who moved on after that Champions League victory. Probably feeling that he had nothing left to achieve. For Ketu, former coach of Kuzbas Kemerovo, and also knows Poland well from Azeko Rozovia. Well, let's come down the two of the best teams in Europe meeting very, very early on in this Champions League campaign. The good news is they both look like they should go through as we're underway. First point goes the way of Lubeju to a lift against David Smith, Zaks are in white then, Lube in their normal red jerseys. Simone and Zani, as there's a massive wipe off the hands. Emil Semyuk, first point, who was also at Zaxa between the 2015 and 2018 years before moving to the Verci. Good time for Menu to come back to Zaxa. There's, well, there's lots of chat around Poland and their Euro, Euro volley campaign during the summer months that the likes of Kazmarek and Semenyu should have played a little bit more than they did because of their Champions League performances. 
they were absolutely outstanding as Vaxa became champions of Europe. Bucarelli tries to turn one off the body. It's an unbelievable dig. Oh, the Lord Ball will go to the outside through Semenya. Oh, through the centre. What a start. Marcin Janusz going straight through the middle. Robert Huber left unmarked by Robert Landy Simon. Robert Huber. Somebody who's coming this year from Fra Bell Hat Off. Slightly off the net, but we may will be okay out there because they're so big out of system and it's something that we will notice that if Lube pass off the net they have multiple powerful options on the wing. Renyuk is very much in the thick of this game already. As Luciano Jeffo, what a phenomenal career he's had. Came in to replace Bruno Rosende who this year is obviously back in Italy. Gabby, the count for the evening has been opened already. Big from row, really, for Lube. Lube gets across, doesn't quite seal with the inside hand, and gets beaten. Checo, a sign from Perugia. Paris, Before that was at Piacenza and Monza. The best setter in the Champions League in the 2016-17 season as Gazmarak is... Just unloaded, ready to go. Robert Landy, Simon, doing his best to try and get across. There's a big ball off the hands, and Lucarelli left frustrated. Kazmarak has really come into his own in this competition the last couple of years, but yeah, what a swing when the pass is dialed in that well. The middle. Uber commits with Robert Landy, Simon, and because of that, there's a free net for Yant. Happy days, hammer away. Dags up in system. Back through Kazmarek, and you just see how Janusz has started to run this game. He's used the middle already. He's gone to the outside, and now the last two balls in a row, he brings in Kazmarek finds a gap down the line. There wasn't a lot of line available for him. That's superb. Slightly wider, Robert Landy Simon. I mean, credit where credit's due there. From Fabio Balasso was the best libero at the club world championships and he's just put Simon in miles from Zaxa because I mean you could have 25 players on the court and nobody's digging that out of system play has to go wide to the outside making something of absolutely nothing I mean Slivka got three up there has to try and find a solution with the ball dropping inside so goes high off the hands didn't really have any other option a very smart swing from the Zaxa South well there is a challenge though you just know farewell that the big players are going to come to the forefront of this game at the moment for Lube. Obviously, Fernando Di Giorgi was replaced by Blengini at the end of last season. Di Giorgi won the European Championships in Ireland with Italy. Europe, well, there is no fault there. That's all there is that as well. Who must have? Sort of the 
Johnson takes the land from the sideline. That was not really doing anything wrong whatsoever. It's just a fantastic set. It's back to serve. Good passing in system pipe this time. Successful for both teams so far, but that one, the execution just slightly too long from the middleman or the middleman on the backcourt, wing spiker. In usual terms, and it wasn't the Euro volley that. Poland would have wanted. They wanted to win the European Championships. Remember, Poland are the world champions from the previous two times. Once on home soil. There's a challenge. Is it in or out? It's certainly out. Not by much, though. serving scores tied well, Zaxa one away fantastic result to win away locomotive Nevo Tibursk midway through December and winning 3-1 away in the Champions League is always a good result after a previous game here 3-0 win against Maribor. Lube. They won 3-0 away at Maribor. And 3-0 at home to Locomotive. It's already shaping up here between the two unbeaten teams because the level so far has been pretty fierce. Both teams going for their serves. Michelle Ayi, currently the top scorer in the Champions League at Nat Borov Soler with 36 points. So not much in it with Alexander Slivka, currently in fifth place, about to serve for Zaxa. It's a rocket blast was put down. Jan has to try and get the ball up. It's a high set. Gabby try and get the dig on the backcourt. Excellent from the Puerto Rican. But the free ball, Semyu, who is also having a great Champions League so far, Camille Semenyuk. 13th top scorer coming into the game today. When it comes to the top scorers of the competition, you can see how much Zaxa are relying on Slivka. Kazmarek and Semenyuk as well. Robert Landy Simon is currently the top 10th top scorer in the competition. And apart from that, Marlon Jan Herrera at 22 is Lube's next representation in that leaderboard. So, partly down to the fact that it's been a tough season for Lengini. Great serve from Anzani, serving fast down the line. They're out of system, and that gives the blockers a chance. It was always going to position four, that ball. Yant now playing defense, a little bit of a rush touch. Goes out to Ugarelli on the ring, and he, from the wing spiking position, goes high off the hands. Ugarelli, who, in theory, has taken Randy Liao's position in this team, and Liao, one would argue slightly bigger on the net, but Lucarelli is hardly small either. And also can contribute a lot in the defensive and service reception compartments of the game, but that's all about the blocking phase of the game from Robert Landy Simon. 11 kill blocks makes him the leading blocker in the Champions League 
this year coming into this game doesn't look like he's willing to give up the top of the leaderboard spot with one on one yeah with an outrageous touch low to his left leg two bits of defense from lube chance to go two up yam through the pipe what a play absolutely outstanding from lube robert landy simon does well good footwork to get in the front of the middle spiking position from zaxa but yant is flourishing at the moment defensively offensively david smith stopped two times in a row from robert landy simon Chapo finds Simon from a really tough position. And that one goes Axe's way. Smith is having a battle tonight against Robert Landy Simon. As Benjini contemplates challenging, but you don't have long to make your challenge, so be very quick off the mark. Well, Smith to serve. We know he's playing very well now, having played for Rizovia, Zaverci, and Radom as well. Experienced customer in the USA team. A side out for Lube. Calling for calm, Lucarelli, and rightfully so. Shani Dicheko, who's won 12 awards in his career, but that's frighteningly steep to the line. But the decision has gone the way of the The question is, I think they do have one challenge left, both teams having two challenges. Fantastic setting, it all is certainly out. Balls served to position one, so for and you should crack that back to position two isn't easy, but that is made to look easy to the outside. And Pacheco's service run, more service run comes to an end. He won best server at the Club World Champs in 2010, Luciano Pacheco, but obviously most of his awards in the setting role. That's the trailing by two. Lube, who currently have played two matches less than Modena and Perugia at the top of Serie A, is Zaxa back in system. But Uber has been exemplary so far, just following the setter into two and a half and staying high. Yant's been beaten that time. Perugia currently at the top of the Superliga by, well, one win over Modena, but Lube win their two games in hand. There's chance that Lube will be in second place, but Perugia only having lost twice to Lube's three gives them a clear advantage at the moment. Overpass, but away from Alexander Slivka. Menuk serving. Pressure now, even more so on the Lube passing unit. Pressure quickly relieved because of the serve crashing into the net. Well, because Kazmarek, who's currently best spiker in the Champions League, but that's never far away from the top of the rankings in any skill at the moment. Two on the wing. It's going to be a slower set, or it's quickened up, but so have the feet of the experienced Simone Anzani drops his hands in to the angle. Fantastic blocking. 17-14, it's a break at the perfect time for Lube. They lead by three here, and it is Simone 
Anzani, formerly of Modena, Perugia and Verona, is forced the hand of the coach of Daxa. Well, Yant is currently following in the footsteps of Osman A1 Terena, another Cuban born superstar who's had an incredible career. There is no one Terena, but he's won so many big awards individually and in club volleyball. Four point lead now for Lube, three time Champions League winner, one Terena. Not here this evening. More hammer from Corelli. I mean, nobody up to challenge him. Always going to be difficult for Eric Soji there. Zaxa out of system. Very difficult for the left handed slip cutter. Find angles when the ball is off the net. Free ball for Lube. This to go up by five. Yeah, it's absolutely close like this. Robert Landy Simon, who's clearing up the junk and great setting from Dicheco to find Gabby. Goes straight to his setter and thanks him wholeheartedly. This and Soji up there, full stretch, one arm stab to keep the ball alive. Checker gets his hips underneath the ball, throws his hands at it. The ball finds its way to Gabby. Second time out used from Zach Sup. Lube. Looks sensational so far. This is the only thing. We cover a little bit. And then plus positive, we have to work better than uh, with the attackers. Hi, that is the Well, could do with a side out here, Zaxa. That reception has to be into a good zone, but Robert Landy Simon is doing what he does best, and that's serving bullets. Unfortunately for him, that one is into the net band, but not the end of the world for Lube because they're serving. Certainly set them up nicely. into system the pass from Balasso. I mean Checo looks good in tough situations but when Balasso is popping the ball from the right side of his body into the perfect spot like that Lube will have a field day it's not as if Zaxa is serving softly either Gabby who was the best opposite in the Pan American Games in 2017 out of sorts, Zaxa through the middle. Yeah, from downtown, continuation play from Lube. So with a really good touch of the ball. Fast volley to one, but this is Zaxa's chance. With the coverage from Lucarelli, defensively superb. It's a good read through the right side. What a rally. This one is back through the right side for Zaxa Banzani. We've seen him make one already this evening, but now he's back on fire. Previously from the right side, now to the left. The rally of the evening so far here in the match of the week. Defense there, incredible from Kashmarek, but top spiker of this competition shut down from Anzani and Yant. More fire from Lube. Defensively, they have really shown good discipline in positions and 
They force the errors. Smith fires wide. For a team who have been untroubled, their record run of wins is 19 in their history. But Lube have started like the powerhouse we know they are. Zaxa have been shut down once more. The Checo. Arms up, chin out, chest as well. Out of system play. This Pacheco blocking a position for this time. Quick hands, big, big stuffy change. The Smith leads, but Christoph Reno. And Gabby will serve once more. Unfortunately, Cross is just a little bit lacking there from the Garcia, but one must applaud Lube for their ability to come out of the traps, serving and passing well, but some of the defensive plays and the blocking that we've seen have been quite sensational as well. Yant has had a great game defensively as well as attacking, and that's fairly easy pickings for Gabby. A change coming in. Enrico Diamantini is coming in for Luciano Di Cecco. We all know that's to try and make yet another block, but Di Cecco's just made a big block of his own. So you'd feel that even Cecco might feel a little bit hard done by that. Off the hands all the same. But there is a slight time for the Cecco to rest for the next set, which is also crucial the ping pong off the hands of Diamantini, who started with Lube B in 2012. Played at Piacenza, Calippo and Ravenna as well, but there's been ever present at number 12 in Lube's successful period of the last few years. Pass off the net this time for Lube, but they're doing what they do well, and that's hit their way from out of system plays. Luca Relli has done the job for Lube. They go one set to zero up against the reigning champions of the Champions League in Zaxa. And really, it was one way traffic, 24 minutes, fast work. Machina, Lube, have eaten over 25 17. Zaxa haven't quite got going yet. Well, some highlights of an impressive round for Lube. The wider play through the center, opening up. Yeah, but it's a combination, the threats that they have all over the court, Lube, that when they're cooking, they are really, really hard to stop. Lucarelli and Yan on the pipe and on the outside prove a certain physicality that if they pass really well, Lube, will be a tough nut to crack for any team in world volleyball. That block from Anzani. Another big moment for Zaxa. Well, Kazmarak, Slipver, and Semenyuk may be the top scorers, or some of the top scorers in this competition so far, but the block of Lube too strong so far. And if it's not the block, the defensive stability around them has been quite sensational. I wonder if we'll get to see Ivan Zaitsev at 
some point, but as it stands, you would feel that for Gian Lorenzo Blangini, if it's not broke, he's probably not going to fix it at the moment. We have a look at the Vitek Hall, which, as you can tell, state of the art here for Laxa. Rightfully so, but this is now a big test for them. They're going to have to pick themselves up off the floor, but in theory, we know this game by now. We know that one set does not really define an entire match, and we know what Zaxa are capable of. And although they've had a few changes this season, also aware that they don't know when they're beaten. Lucarelli, Yant and Blasso will start in the reception unit as Alexander Slivka will get us underway. It's set number two here. Yant, who early on was targeted a lot in the service reception, seems to have really found his rhythm in his passing and defensive skills at this moment in time. It was struggling for rhythm early on when he came into the Lube side with no one terrainer. In some games where in the Italian league they've struggled to field the right amount of Italian players, so Daniele Satali has had to play the 42-year-old reserve set, a second setter for Lube. They had to rest the Checo so they could free up Marlon Yant to play on the outside. You might see Satali, but he's been playing since 96, the 42-year-old currently on the bench. With, with the menu at I mean, these one-on-one -on -one situations committing, and there's no surprise that Gabby dives into the cross court here, as that is what was being shown by Semenya. Always more difficult to hit a bit of a cross line than it is to hammer through where you're facing. Ho, ho, ho! Do not write Zaxer off in this game whatsoever. I mean, David Smith has just absolutely unleashed on that one. And yet again, Yant is getting served, and they're just trying to mix up the serve on The first one was obviously the ace to the sideline, beating him to the left, and then second time of asking they try and drop one short on Yant, which, in theory, for Marlon. Yeah, it's more difficult to play those short balls, especially if he's the front court receiver as he is at the moment. They'll take him out of the attack, but well, Jacks have to take care of their own side out. I mean, Yant is at two meters, two centimeters on the left side, so Gabby is 201. The height of the front court, quite something. Ardo Lucarelli who's won the best outside hitter in the South American Championships. He's won the MVP in the Grand Champions Cup. Obviously the biggest plaudit for him, that best outside hitter in Rio Olympics, where Brazil were successful. He played by three already here, and you just see that the break in Zax's season has not done them many favours. Freddy wants more. MVP in his last season in Brazilian Superliga. Four wits and speed. They're looking for a touch and they've got that touch from Benio. You have to give Spike a credit here. I'm trying to hit steep, staying nice and high off the hands of Garcia. But you feel that they're already against the hip. Lasso so far 
has been pretty much on point. Now a free ball. Pacheco goes in fakey. Just throws one switch to Robert Landy Simon. I mean, the execution is out, but who cares so much when you're that entertained? I mean, the wonderful thing about Luciano Pacheco, you can always expect something fairly unexpected. Robert Landy, Simon makes it look incredibly easy. But once again, you have to give the credit to Yant there because he's getting served to the inside. They're trying to upset his rhythm on the approach there and put his pass under pressure. And he gives a good tempo to Checo. Yeah, it's a little bit too straight, but Checo can work magic from anywhere within the three meter line, really. Scoop. Hang on, Robert Landy Simon's playing six and making digs. <laughs> and now, let's have a listen. I mean, Lou base around the referee like he's round honey here. And Zani's called for a lift, taking this one a little bit too low. Benjini was. Uh, Trying to get amongst it. Robert Landy Simon is the only person you can talk to the referee. Robert Landy Simon will have a look at the face on him. He tells you everything you need to know. Yanzani's just called for taking that ball a little bit too low, potentially handing on onto it, hanging onto it a little bit too long. And now Lube are out of system. It is a funny game, volleyball, even at the top level that one thing like that can distract the focus of even the best teams in the world as Huber gets after it. Balasso beaten short. Now we're tied at sixes. Balasso may just get this one as well. All's aimed towards him, but unfortunately, you can hear the echo from. Menu. I'll see you this time. This good offense from Zach, so they've not done a lot wrong there, but Lube, the lasso underneath the block, speed to Jan, and that's exactly what he brings to this team, physicality on the wing. <laughs> and you can see Kazmarex sort of saying, what am I supposed to do? The number two is parked on the line here, a one-on-one -on -one diving into the angle and gets a hand on it, but thudded down from that man. I feel that Lube have stood up really nicely on Kashmarek so far. Defensively, they made a couple of digs on the Zaxa right side. Okay, this is a big opportunity. And it's very, very wise from Zaxa. Climb on the pipe. Coming in aggressive to sell the harder swing before tipping the ball over the top of the block. No digging that one, especially with Velasso playing six in that rotation. The service pressure has increased. It's marvelous volleyball. The level of volleyball there up there because the service pressure is fast. Lucarelli does a really good job of holding his platform. Pecco is already in that three, three and a half zone, but he might lose his stability with his feet, but his arms are doing all the talking. Oh. 
And more blocking from Louis B. Lucarelli just about gets his hat over off the head of Marek and you just feel that Lube have got the wind in their sails once more. As well for the passing unit of Zaxa, you have to feel that no matter where they go or where they look, they've got the service threat in every single way, shape and form. Yan into the net this time, but serve two position one towards Jan. Fantastic setting from Checa. The play was moving to the left, and he flips it back to the right, and with it he evades the blockers, and it really brings another opportunity for Lube. But no, Livka goes high. Looking for the hands, but to no avail hit. Hanging on to everything. Palacio does a superb effort at getting across to between six and one to play that free ball. That one's missed everything. Challenge. I don't know if that one's going to work out for Zaxa hit. Do I know there was certainly a net touch? I thought they were looking for the touch off the block, but maybe what they needed backs up back level with the anti position one. Lucarelli will be on the front court as they try and go after the ant again. Anush. Zani. A few calls for out, but it's to the outside. Three up in the block, trying to cut off all the angles, but Baxter have started to get moving again here. Haven't played since the 4th of January, so they've had eight days without a game, but before that, the last game was the 22nd of December, so games have been few and very far between in terms of how fast this regular season usually goes. They obviously won both games because they're undefeated at the top of the league. Handling call again against Lube. Robert Landy Simon is potentially about to blow a gasket here. Still having a little chat, Robert Landy Simon. Zach's a lead for the first time I feel in this entire tie. This is the first game for Lube since their win on Boxing Day against Padova. So both teams haven't really played so much volleyball, but the good news for Lube is they had a very busy period playing in. Club World Championships won by Sada Cruzario, the former team of Robert Landy Simon. It's currently in your picture now. So rest looks to have done them a little bit of good, but going high, Lucarelli. Not quite getting over the net this time.
Brazilian will lock and load. Interesting set this one now. Front court receivers serve the balls out of system. It has to go back to the wing. Yant is very good in getting his way off of the net and playing defense, but the free ball opens up. Pipe attack. It's prime, or was it through the center? We'll have another look at this one. Hubert, certainly through the center, my mistake. Robert Landy Simon. In the right line, just the execution of the block slightly out. Lasso passing a little bit, leaking to the right hand side. What a play! <laughs> Robert Landy Simon says, shush to Zach Surf, but I mean, have you seen a better set than that from Luciano? Pacheco, check that out on the face. Whenever you think he's not going to use the middle, your middle blocker should really commit. Unbelievable. Really, those sorts of plays are the ones that his other setters can't contribute to in that sense of the game. It's absolutely sensational. I'm still in awe of what we've just seen from Pacheco. Lube still trail by one because Zaxa have been the better side in this second set. More passing issues, Lipka. Wow. This is service pressure from Zaxa putting Lube under the pump. Because of that, Rangini has had to take a timeout. We are generally being treated to a fascinating game. Take that in the shoulder. Garcia is high and he's able to keep himself propelled in the air. It doesn't matter that there's a split in the block. He'll just go over the top anyway. BYU also famous for developing the talent. Remember Brendan Sander and also Taylor Sander playing for Lube in past years. Taylor Sander was supposed to be in Poland playing for Scrabo Hatov, but we'll find him on the beaches of California playing beach volleyball nowadays with Taylor Crab. That's a by two. Pin serve through the center. It's a big play, slow ball to the outside. And that gives the blockers time, Slivka gets across, Marcin Janusz. And the passing unit of Lube rocked at the moment. Three up, there's absolutely nowhere to go. Jan's approach line is very straight on and that means that he's gonna not have much to the angle. Tries to stay as high as possible, but he's shut down once again, out of system. Garcia wide of the mark, and this is a completely different game now. Zaxa, ferocious behind the service line. Gini certainly not happy. Four point game. Zaxa in firm control now. 
and you feel, and I could be potentially wrong here, that ever since Lube started to lose their rag and focus on the external things happening with the referee, Baxter have caught fire. The fans as well. No better place to watch volleyball than Poland. Fans loving it because their boys are firing. Passing. Kega goes to the wing, but there's a dig from Zaxa. They've got left hander once again fast arm through left side and where Lube were firing on all cylinders scoring from all over the park a quick arm through the seam happy days for Slivka and he gives it a big point as well big stones from him Lube again out of system they have to rely on the high ball the blockers have a chance and everything looks a little bit out of rhythm and a little bit rushed but not for Zaxa Kazmarek Colossal really good touch from Slifka he has to be watching the approach line of the spike he sees the arm slow down from Garcia he can react with his arm in theory keep the ball alive and here is Ivan Zaitsev coming in for Jan. Now, this is the position he always wanted to play, wasn't it? Going to come in, fit in the passing unit. It'll give Jack for something to think about, that's for sure. Zaitsev, welcome to the court. The cross line that just misses. Ivan Zaitsev, you have somebody who's done just about everything. Huge part of Italian volleyball for so long. Was at Kemerovo last year, obviously. He knows the opposing coach fairly well. Medena and Perugia. It's the best. Outside hitter in Champions League in 2016-17, but it doesn't matter what Lube do. This is sensational. Garcia is dug. It's a good job from, and he's just to sit the ball up. Let, let Kashmarek get his feet inside the ball and hammer away. I mean, you have to be honest. This is a close game, but neither set has been close in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Through the center. Smith, who was blocked out going to five in the opening exchanges, now manages to come in and turn one away from, well, Ducarelli pinching into the middle to help out due to the fact of being a front court setter at the moment into Checo. Two up in the block, there we have it, we go 1-1. One, one. Decker and Hyde stuff from both teams. The pass has started to go astray for Lube. The block has come into the game for Zaxa, but the service pressure has been the difference. After winning the opening set, Lube 25-17. It's Zaxa that win the second, 25-16. The team's changing ends again, and surely no one can predict what's coming next. Edge of the seat stuff here in Poland.
well, 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 we knew we were going to have a game on our hands. But this is quite something. Six blocks so far for Lube to Zaxxas one. Could I potentially say there might be one or two more than that for Zaxxas in the previous set? A couple of aces for Zaxa to Lube's zero. In set two, it really was all Laxa, wasn't it? Nine winning spikes to seven. More aces, more errors from Lube. Quite the delightful shot of Rizzotti Arena here is. Have another look at the scores. Be interested to know what people are thinking at home. Because that's in my seat at the moment. I have no idea which way this one is going. The opening set was just almost faultless from Lube in serving and passing, and Echo was being able to do whatever he wanted. Smith and Zaxa struggling in all components of the game but since that opening set backs up well since that handling call against Anzani being completely honest but the almost whole Lube squad started to go after the referee that second set turned on the sixpence and now we're here error to get us underway from the outside in set number three Serve down the line to position one. It's a serve that's used primarily to try and force the setter's hand to the outside, which is exactly what happens. It's a one on one, so they're obviously planning on the ball going to the middle or coming back to the right side. That is also a pattern of play that we've seen from Martin Yanush throughout this game already. When the ball served to position one, he tries to rip it back to two, but Robert Landy Simon is back on fire. I mean, just a little bit of a sliding set away from the opposition middle, trying to open up the gap on Uber. And I mean, whoever has to track Robert Landy Simon in the game of volleyball will have a tough task on the hand. Marek with a big serve. Colasso does well to wrestle that one in. Checo goes with speed to the wing. And Garcia with a hitting error. That's a hitting error from both sides already in the opening exchanges of this one. Dean Garcia comes in and Zaitsev to Nube this year as Nurushdiki departed. Also, we saw Randy Leal replace a few changes for new players. As a football in the surf.
to the line. With Sanis Robolandi Simon. Teaming up with Jant. And just dropping the hands inside. The speed of the hands is fast. And it's Lube doing the early pressing here. Once again, three up in the block and tip cover provided by De Checo. And back to the right hand side is a high, robust swing from. Garcia this time, people this time drifting. Something they've looked for is to try and target the block of Hoover. Timeout called already here, and in theory, they're not in a bad spot if you look at the last set, same situation. You can see that Georges Cretu is on the side very animated in his white shirt he's had some very very good results he's won the cv cup with allegory belgorod in 2017. he's won the russian super cup last year with chris bass amarovo That ball's way off the net, slow ball to the wing, and Lube won't want to get beaten for that. Stud is sitting very inside the Checo now. Through the same avenue. This has all the makings of a classic on the knees, and he's, again, a fabulous job just to at least give the wing spiker here some a chance to deliver. Down the target. Oh, steep. Just back crossbody from Garcia. And really, if you're deciding not to block and playing defense there, you get beaten for speed very easily on a ball on that sharper angle. Jekko flips it on the reverse. Good work of the arm. Dimon playing short on the front court receiver. And he doesn't want to go back out to the wing to live. So he goes to Huber in the middle instead. You'd say that the service, Simon, did what they wanted it to do with Jan also helping in the middle, diverting the traffic to the line. Nick ready this time. Good speed in the Checo set, even from an off the net position. And that's a little bit unorthodox. It's a big dump from Anzani. But it's the intention from the Checo to fire that ball slightly wider to hit the gap between Anoush and Smith. Smith knows he's been done for speed there. Hubert and Smith provide quite the dominant middle attack here. And both score really for Zach. So this one turned from Smith to position one. A good turn away from the block.
<laughs> a one-on-one -on -one against Yan here. Middle commits. Sanzani did his job, so Yan could do his. Oh. Well, maybe dropping the second set was the kick that Lube needed here. Strong outside hand from Lucarelli. The good line that he's got on the block, a real strong hand, fast hand. Zaxa. Uh, get the ball back. Bruce Livka. <laughs> Ferocious challenge between two very good sides, this. to position one, back on to Yan. That's a credit to that set over the left shoulder. There's two up in the block once again. That set from Belasso was absolutely incredible because he had such a small target to aim for, but got it in the slot. Zaxa absolutely deserved that point all the same. Just squeezed past Lucarelli, who off the faster arm was beaten again does a really good job there Lucarelli of putting his arms into the line super late not so stable though so he gets told off the outside hand good for again Zani, who's certainly done his job as that second middle again this evening, as he seems to all the time. Lucarelli, I mean, Zaxa is sending a lot of traffic that way, as you'd expect, through Kazmarek as the best spiker in this competition, but tries to go off the body, off the outside hand again from Lucarelli, and Lucarelli, well, you do the maths as of late, he's made two blocks and he's let one through. But if we have to go for the sidle three, four times, be patient. We are jumping, we are coming for the ball there. Don't be crazy to close this. Stay high there, we take the ball, we play again, we catch them with this. We need to play that. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I think at the beginning, Letu was suggesting they have to hit a bit higher. Zach Sowich would make some sort of sense, but I mean, this is where Lube, when their surf blocking game is on. It's a tough, tough evening. This time short on Joji. Good cover from Sani, head in hand, stuff. It's a good side out in the end. Joji. Puts that ball into the perfect spot. Never easy having to reach forward and get the shoulders underneath the ball almost to scoop the ball up. Smith. Will be next. The volleyball gets tough when you're three or four behind and you have to, or five even, and you have to keep pushing from the baseline to try and upset the opposition but you end up pushing too hard and missing a few serves in the meantime difficult serve of the Checo it's a low toss and a quick arm working in unison yeah. 
good from the Checo again. Just the ability to be off the net and just flip it over the shoulder. I mean, this is a difficult position. He looks at to the outside, almost tries to sell it before putting the ball again. The more the ball's off the net, the smaller target you have to aim for. Throwing a big raspberry showed you. Simon. Vicarelli just disciplined as well. And I mean, for any wing spiker, have a look at Vicarelli's work off the ball. The game has to kick out, has to drive back in, has minimal time to do so. But the work he does off the ball means he beats the block of the speed. Ouch. Good sportsmanship from Hoover. Palasso has just been absolutely battered. Got to take it on the chin. And he seems to be okay. No wonder he gets the next serve, but give him some credit for absolutely melding the pass into a good zone. That must be a net touch. Front court receiver. Good setting, but we may uh, watching it closely. I'd like another look at this one because Danny Shear just flipping the ball, losing the blocker, and it's a good read from Jan to make a dive away from Kashmarek and help in the middle on the pipe, but at the same time, moving the ball from left to right is opening up spaces in between the block. Three up, high swing. Almost similar to what Kletu was asking for Zaxa in the timeout. Ooh, trying to force a sharp angle that potentially wasn't even there. Good game, this. And he's playing with speed. Game certainly isn't getting any slower, is it? From a setting point of view. Not getting any smaller either from a Yant point of view. Short serve. Fantastic serve from Zaxa. Gets Lube under pressure. This would be another step in the correct direction. To see that Jans. Well, moves short over two meters tall. The ball might have been out there, you know. point game like everything Blangini has an option to call the timeout early and sit Daxa down before they get too confident that's exactly what he's done here Previous serve, a really smart one to drop the ball in short once again on Yan, because even if he does make good footwork and get there, it still in theory gets him out of the attack and forces Checo's hand somewhere behind him or on the pipe attack to Lucarelli. I wouldn't be surprised if they go back down that avenue to try and take him out of the attack and Then once he's under pressure in the past, leave him one on one on the outside, hoping that the ball, or knowing that the ball doesn't go that way. It's another short serve. The net ban works against Zaxa there. It does go back, and that's a trump card. As soon as the ball's off the top of the net, Yank can slow the ball down and 
no matter what's been planned from Zaxa. They're always going to draw there. A little bit of luck, because if that doesn't touch the net band, he's going to have to go to floor again, Jan. Celebrations, because every time Simon goes back to serve, you know that your passing unit are going to receive a challenge from Simon, and then in theory, when he misses the serve, you know that you don't have to see him again for a while. Two miss serves in a row as Norbert Huber misses one as well. Nicorelli. Pretty impressive out there today, as is Gabby Garcia, who is playing in that opposite role, but won't get set as many balls as other opposites just for the firepower that they have through Robert Landy, Simon in the middle, and also the balance that they have to use the outside with Lucarelli and Yant as well. So he's not top of the scoring boards like some others, like we see here from Kazmarek. It's because Lube have got a better balance than other sides. Well, Dicheco again, playing at position four to try and hide him in the block. Had to go with the free ball. And again, they're allowing Jan to do the blocking on Slivka. Livka has the last laugh. Nicorelli wrestles one in and Zani good so far this evening. Keeping his side of the bargain. And as this season progresses, as does the ability of yeah, and really, just as I'm pumping his tires up, he seems to miss a serve, which seems to be a real life thing in sports commentary. But for oh, yeah, the Cuban born best scorer at the Club World Championships this year, but also was the best spiker. And really, that's a sign of how far he's come since joining from Tremont Volley 52 in 2020. Mantini is coming back in for Pacheco again, just to add an avenue and an option when it comes to the blocking form of the game, which is, I mean, Pacheco doesn't really lack anywhere, but could be a masterstroke from Blangini. A great start is smart, really. It's exactly what Blangini wanted to happen. Robert Landy Simon blocks through position two. Diamantini comes in, and it's very, very well thought out that from the head coach. In sport, all those little things really do add up. Short serve this time from Lube. They do exactly what they want to in terms of taking. Semenya out of the offence, but Kazmarek, it is he does the damage this time against Lucarelli. I mean, he hasn't got a lot of line to play with there, is he? Anything off body probably goes out. Checo back in. Once again, passing from Lube, encouraging. from people watching, absolutely. Suggesting that Zaxa haven't passed well, sorry, passed badly either. And it's been the blocking of Lube that has been very, very strong, turning it back into the angle this time.
from the position four, hitting that right hand sideline is always the toughest sideline to come back to, to really open up and stay strong with the core. Robert Landy Simon. I mean, playing volleyball isn't easy, but Robert Landy Simon on time, quick arm. Fires one through the split in the block. And with that, Lube have rifled through to set point hit. They have it, Eric Lube, the two sets to one. Max, up, well, maybe we're having a challenge here. Potentially, Max up aren't too worried either. So there is a challenge. And the ball is out the back. Lube have taken the third set. And once again, it's been one-way traffic. The game is close, but the sets aren't. Lube, the two sets are one. No doubt that Zaxa will come back in abundance in set four. Some incredibly strong performances from players on both sides. Consistency maybe has been one thing lacking. But what a game. Well, we know the community. We're looking forward to this one. Lucarelli disciplined in the block throughout, got beaten on that occasion, wasn't beaten there. Starting slightly wide in that line block against Livka. Lucarelli seemed to be involved in a lot of Lube's blocking successes, but also made a few big points like that one, outrunning the middle blocker for speed. And speed is something that Zaxa is certainly not short of either. Slivka smiling after that one. But as set three came to the end, there's only really one team in it. And Lube away from home have control for the time being. Lube, he did the double last year in Syria and the Italian Cup, but knocked out here against Zaxa in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. This would be some sort of very, very small revenge for the players who were involved in that fixture. Likes of Pacheco. Juan Torreina, Jan was part of that team as well. Pierre Mantini, Robert Landy, Simon Anzani, Andrea Marchisio, who we haven't seen yet, and Fabio Balasso as well, obviously led by Dan Ferdinando, sorry, De Giorgi. Step four, will we see a fifth set? Big question. Here or Lube going to go three from three. They've conceded their first set of this Champions League campaign already. Here and it's a glorious start from Livka. 
I mean, it's the perfect serve in the seam of Belasso and Yant. Just close enough to Belasso for Yant to let him take it. But also, the arm naturally going through the body away from Belasso makes it very difficult for the libero to want to take a piece of that. Zani serving five down the line to one. Once again, forcing, trying to force a hand of Danish to the outside. So many gets crushing. Robert Landy Simon beating on this occasion. Sharp. <laughs> I mean, Zaxa can look around puzzled if they want to, but I think they're just going to accept that that's the big meaty swing from Garcia on the left side. I mean, to be able to bring that ball back so sharp that you have to really open up on it. Off the net, has to go to position four this time. Off the chest of Balasso, and Balasso not so happy with his team here because he felt like he did enough. Once again, Yanish just does a very good job of standing that ball up, balancing off the right foot just to get it high enough and peek it to the wing for the hitter to have some options. Lucarelli. Well, we've seen Kashmarek try and do the same to him. As soon as you try and work the ball off the body, it becomes more difficult to take that line away from the spiker. Tries to hit through the body there. Block is in the perfect zone. There's another one for Zaxa. Good width of the set. Five or six meters or so. The Checo trying to find some gold and sets one out to the wing off the hands. Good free ball. Chases on. What a touch. There's two there for Lube. The Zaxa. Are finding their flair as well. Three ball comes in, Yish has a little look, then goes to the center. Roll reversal of the previous set. Laxer have come out serving tough and. Oh! What a play! The netband trickler of deception. Alasso <laughs> doesn't know what to do. He goes in with the swan dive, looking for the pancake, and then gets jumboed. <laughs> and you think we've seen everything. Good pass from Jan. Robert Landy Simon is on flames there. Credit where credit's due to the passing unit of Lube. Fascinating stuff as Robert Landy Simon fires up the furnace one-on-one -on -one, and in those situations you just back Slifka every time. Zani commits with Huber. Good volleyball from Zaxa. 
Gabby Garcia is feeling hungry. Pass is too quick. Off the arms. Checo's under pressure, but this is where he comes into his own. Fast pump to the wing. There's no power attacks for Slivka. But what he has got is a tip to the line. High contact. Smart play. Lasso beaten. Well, eight four. Mangini has had to get the team in. Very good game and a couple of things gone against him. Checo just spreads the play. Gabby on the right side from left to right, trying to put the pressure on the blockers. It's exactly what happens. It's Smith who's just slightly pressurized because of the good work from Checo. Big serving this time from Lube. Slivka. And in those out of system sort of plays where the ball's off the net and there is no middle attack, it's certainly not easy to drag that ball back on a sharper angle. The raise of the eyebrows maybe suggests that from Anzani. In system. I mean, that's a very, very good example of modern day volleyball, isn't it? Passing into a good zone. The big guys over two meters tall playing fast and serve from Jan. Check her to the outside. Lucarelli misses out as well and this is Lube chasing the game, making errors. We wouldn't be surprised if this goes to a fifth. We have a challenge in progress here from Lube. Are they chancing their arm or have they got a good chance of this one going their way? They're looking for the touch. And I mean, Lucarelli didn't think there was a touch, and there certainly wasn't a touch looking at that picture there. Three in the pass. Garcia on the 10 attack, Slifka back round to serve again. It's another big sub. The serving of Slifka here has been sensational. Is that a sloppy one? Smith looking for a touch on the way through. 
misses the court himself. Slivska's serving has certainly caused Lube some issues throughout this fourth. Oh, my mistake, it was the good work of Anzani, not Smith. In the end, just clipping off the hands, changing direction of the ball, and in turn, getting its just rewards. The Checo will go to the outside because it's the longest possible set on chance to move the middle blockers. Robert Landy, Simon gets across fast hands. Lube are just squeaking their way back into this one. Checo just fobs it off to the outside. And that swing from Lucarelli was worth more than you think. Just managed to ruffle the feathers of Vaxa. Serve onto the front court receiver. Slightly tight. They're a little bit out of sync. And, and Genie's absolutely screwing. Because that ha achieved everything they wanted. A touch out of rhythm, a one on one. No one in the defense. Lucarelli, to be fair to him, tried to do as much as he could, but getting involved from position four. Good block, Hubert. Oh, fantastic reverse set from the middle. High play now from Lube. Another chance for Baxter. This for a five-point lead. Chicken wing. The menu just rifles one back on a sharp angle. The quality of this game at times frightening and we hope you're enjoying yourself from wherever you happen to be watching from Well, Zaitsev coming in for Garcia, this time playing in his more natural habitat on the right side. Let's see what Zaitsev can do here. He can at least draw some attention and that's bouncing all the way back to Kvitanova. Marlon Yan, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Serve on the front court receiver. And one by one, Lube getting back into this one. Tough for Huber, really, because he has to pass that ball and then try and make a good approach for the set. Yanish gave it back to him, trusted his middle, but a little bit underneath the ball. Same so again, this time it doesn't go to the middleman. Zaitsev is in the game. Ooh. A bit of a back dig from Pacheco. We've seen your chest dig now and again, but shoulder dig in the end. Big serving from Zach, so it's exactly what they needed. My chance for a break here. Showing a lot of cross. Nothing back to the line, Semenyu. Game on. Fascinating here because you don't feel like Lube are playing badly at all. It's a great brush though from Semenyu. Keep the Lube blockers up in the angle before brushing it down the line. Lasso gets hit again. 
quite set. Flasso in the walls today, but he doesn't give up. Fighting all the way. Zach's at the lead by six. No. Rube really need this one. Robert Landy Simon has like butter. But Lube just find the big wall of Zaxa. Zaitsev fresh off the bench. Gets shut down. He's hitting straight through the center of the court, isn't he? Tries to stay high, but at the same time, Norbert Hoover is at 207 in there. You have to give credit to how quick he is across the face of the net as well. Robert Landy Simon isn't exactly small either. Robert Landy Simon. Two in a row. Chase is on. Reverse play. Gets it somewhere in the right post. Go chance to come back, and this has all been about Robert Landy Simon as of late. Time out for Zaxa. We might just start to be feeling the pressure here. The always to serve the front attacker. That means you have to be ready there, okay? Short then the guy. short, also here, also to the other side. And I want at the center. Center is paying attention about the net. You remember with him that. There, okay? Watch out. Hey, 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 Well, timeout is a wise decision to stop Lucarelli and his run behind the service line. It keeps a four point cushion. And the service is going up a notch, free ball. Zaitsev. That's a dig on it, but Slivko with a free net. Help yourself. Free meal ticket for Slivka. I mean, it's not really for anything Lube have done wrong. It's Saxa producing the goods from the baseline yet again. It really is a topsy-turvy game. Belasso, fantastic passing. Hanging in the air for absolute days there. Again, just a change of direction, super late off the hands. Also, good use to go off of Yanush at 195 in the high ranking. Somebody to... Landy Simon in a game that's just growing in service pressure. This is Aldo Monbengini. He's throwing his toys out of the pram. To the middle, Anzani. Gives it to you straight back to Checo.
really off the net setting from De Cecco as well. Class Lucarelli does a good job of keeping everything into the floor there with his feet and keeping stability. Oh, that one goes Lube's way as well. Touch on the way out. And you've just felt for some period after a slow start, they've just got their way back in and that's twice. <laughs> but Cicheco's got a big stuffy on Kashbaro. Maybe Langini's just putting Cicheco out to deal with the 10 attack. But it's also very smart because on the 10, you might just sacrifice a little bit of height from your spikers and that might just bring Cicheco into the game and they're looking for the Checo again. Also, Zaxa are looking for a net touch here. Fascinating battle between these two. Three up. Was there a net touch on the way down? <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. Off the net, big setting. Absolutely superb from Dicheco. Has to really get his hips underneath that ball and work it back to the 10 attack. But again, the margin of error isn't much there. And it's in the slot for Zeiss. For Zeiss have to be able to attack the line from that set. It means it's pretty much perfect from Dicheco. back in business and you won't get better than that either the level of this game is fire Andrea Marquicchio comes in Kizio has been a long servant really for this Lube team since 2017 won three Champions League also played for Cunio in 2013 on the Serie A title there as well just come in and provide a little bit of consistency you feel with the first touch diving into the angle that's Marek Diamantini coming in for the Checo I don't know why Blangini's doing this because I'm pretty sure the Checo has got more blocks than Diamantini at the moment but let's have a look. We know why he's doing it. Sensible option. Doesn't matter who's in there though. The menu will go high. Robert Landy Simon. I mean, you've got to hit that ball at a very, very high point to go over Simon. Not far away from going to a fifth hit. Simon, what a touch. I don't even know what part of the body that came off. <laughs> Pacheco making another block. Just play him in the middle. At the same time, you have to be frustrated if you're Zaxa to make a defensive play like that one and then see an overstep straight after it. Pacheco will do the rest. Pass is slightly fast. There is no middle. There's three up in the block. Balasso sat on the outside of the Lube block. Zaitsev tries to tip his way out of trouble but gets monster blocked. I think that could be the end of Lube here in set four, and we could be going to a fifth. But I don't think anybody minds that, do they? Good dodging from Marchisio there.
Lube need to find a run. Once again, passes slightly off the net, goes to the outside, gives Robert Landy Sim on time. Second look, Yanish has a look through the net, goes to his opposite man. And you have to take your hat off here because the blocking of Lube has come to the forefront once again. Also credit to Robert Landy Simon. He didn't make the block there, but he was so quick actually across the net to get his hands in the way. Sacks a call a timeout. There's a little bit of work to be done here for the reigning champs. Remember what I said. We don't get pissed in these situations. We keep going. We keep the ball alive there. I have to go. I stand up here. If we have one guy under the block on a high ball, one we keep longer. Now did the timeout. Hold this Lube onslaught. No, big serve from Lucarelli. This is a huge point in the context of this game, and it's smart, smart play. And then you, you saw the tip over the three-man block in set two. We've seen it again here. Doesn't have many options. As soon as the ball's off the net, you can see Jan step across to try and take the sharper angles away from Semenyuk. Semenyuk says, I don't want a piece of that. I'll go over the top. Well, substitution coming in. Awolame Plute is off the bench as Daxa have set point to send us to a fifth. I think everybody looks straight at the line judge there. A very, very Quick visit to the court for Poof. Okay, Robert Landy Simon hasn't had his best serving evening of what we've seen in Serie A and Champions League past, but can he find something now? He certainly can put pressure on. It's a one on one. Maxa send us to five. What a game. Lifka and Semenyuk on the wings are causing Lube some real danger. Head up on evenings like tonight, you'd be happy if this was the best of tens. Then Zaxa take it 25 22. We go to a race to 15 here. Well, a good start from Zaxa early on in set four was exactly what they needed some of the variation from Semenyuk has been sensational hitting the sharper angles working the ball back to the line cross body and also using the tip on Nyan has had a fantastic evening as well that shoulder dig almost from the Checo Lube found their way back into this game But it was too little, too late. The outside's really firing.
Well, here we are. Set five coming up here. One of the season's more memorable and exciting matches. Well, the arena here looks like a gigantic Pringle. State of the art here in Levitsa. As we hope you are enjoying this one as much as I am. Smith and Kazmarek, their combination play will have to be marked through the middle. Dacheco, well, he's made a couple of big plays at the net as well. He's been stopped off in every set so far. There's a chance that sub will happen again. Dimitini coming in and Robert Landy someone blocking through two as we're underway in set five. It's going to be a roller coaster ride as we go to the outside. Zaitsev has got the start in this final and fifth set Robert Landy Simon put a fork in it diving in the position five taking the lot Robert Landy Simon It's two up. Check a really alive playing tip cover. It's tight though. And Zaitsev has got free ball. Robert Landy Simon just thrashes it. As does the Checo. But Smith gets across. Well, the fast touch from Robert Landy Simon meant that Checo really couldn't do anything else but give it to the outside. Smith's eyes would have seen what we saw. His feet gets across, get across very quickly. Serve to position one, ball goes to the outside. Simon trying to get out and double stack. It's another tight set. Tight set again getting underneath it, doing a good job, not getting blocked out. And Ivan Zaitsev, we're not going give him anything but credit he's been thrown underneath a bus the last two plays and he's managed to make something of it Lube lead by three in the beginning of the fifth well Danish Getting some feedback. A few smiling faces. A few nervous ones. Checo, big serve off a low toss. The arm is very quick to the outside, and Zaxa are off the mark. Semenyuk on the field that dealing with this threat on the wing is a huge task of Benjini here. If Lube want to win this in five. Lasso steps in. Robert Landy Simon. I mean, a play like that just makes you want to dissect it because he passes into a great zone. He's looking over his shoulder. Quick two steps to the ball to check out. It's that turn, cross body. It's sensational. Lube have found their form here. But 
So you have Zaxa. A middle for a middle. I mean, 207 centimeters. Hubert could be one of the only ones in world volleyball to be able to constantly go over the top of Robert Landy Simon. I mean, Simon is just absolutely incredible. He's been given the ball three times already in this set. Made a block as well. Back behind the service line. And the thing is now is if Jantz on the front court, the work from Zaxa is good, but also because Checo is using Robert Landy Simon and using the middle so much, it's certainly going to open up gaps for the outside spikers to score from as well. Zani is beaten this time. Passing. Fantastic settings. Like Sev's in the pass there by the looks of him, which is interesting, but and the checker to find that set has to be good, and it's another good decision from Zaitsev. I mean, he's been given three balls or so. Every ball's been a tip, and everyone's been a smart decision within this final set so far. Two in the block. Jan this time defending position two. De Checo back at position four. Anzani. And as soon as that ball and the approach isn't good, Huber loses all of that height. And in turn. Brings the block of Anzani back into the game. We're not far away from changing ends. Zaitsev. Oh, it's been played. It was big serve, big dig as well. Uh oh. Lube challenged very quickly. Remember in set two when Lube lost their rag slightly? Sort of changed the dynamic of the game, didn't it? They will be wanting to keep a lid on their emotions here and know that if they get out of Poland with a 3-2 victory, it's a very good result for them. Was there a net touch? Checo is punching the net. <laughs> Having a little smile. Mischievous. Checo. They're going to need to make a break. The big difference to the way Lube is playing is that Yant has passed really well. He's not just been efficient when spiking, but his defense and passing play be much improved from earlier on in the season. Lube hold on to make the side out. Zani is set, but at the same time, it's a net fault. Eight for Lube, but there's still some time left in this one. Everything so far has obviously led to this position that we're in here, but Lube have clearly been in control of sets one and three. Zach's at the opposite in two and four. Is there one last twist of the tail as Marlon Yan fires up his serve? It's a good serve, it sort of condenses the play to position four. Good defense from Zach's up. Oh, but there's 
Beautiful decision made by the referee that the ball hit the floor. Fascinating. Challenge for the floor touch. That's what the decision has been given for. I mean, we might get another look at this in a minute. You can see everybody from Zaxa trying to get a look at the big television screen in the arena. Challenge. It's a massive challenge, really, from Zaxa in this game because this is really match defining five points down in the fifth is a long way back decision well we have four officials looking at it now well I mean there's a right leg in the way so that makes it very difficult to see that looks like there's a hand there but it looks like it may have just Touch the floor is a decision. Imagine Anish. You have to give him some props as well for a dig like that. Not much in it. The entertainment has been superb as we've got Shoji puts the ball in the perfect spot. American Libero certainly doing his job. Points have to come through the serve. Off the net here. Big Reddy has to hit their way out of trouble. Slip car. Two in a row. And Genie now will start to sweat. Lube also three up. Lucarelli tries to test Slifka. He has the longest distance to travel to form at the net. And just when you thought this game was over, we get a little bit of a change of momentum. <laughs> yeah, that's a big swing. Lucarelli gets patted on the head from Zaitsev for his good work. I mean, at this point of the game, he's just been blocked out. This time he's got two up on him and he stays real high. And that's Smith's reaction saying, sometimes you just got to give it to the spiker. Serve onto the middle, smart. Service, good defense. Daxa will have an opportunity here. This opportunity through an error. Slivka also withdraw his arms or withdraws his arms. Slivka to serve. This could be a match defining rotation. And it's one that Lube will be very thankful for 
moving round on. Simon has been an absolute dream in this fifth, hasn't he? Pacheco just giving him the ball at all times. Once again, proving his worth to Lube. Short serve on the front court receiver. And it's a smart move. Something that Menuk has done all evening is make good decisions. He knows he's under the cosh a little bit there with the short serve. Once again, has to get a bit more creative in his offensive play. Referee's given that one out. And if this challenge doesn't get reversed, then it really is a long way back for Zaxa. Out, only just. Game of inches, they say. That was more like millimeters. Service pressure throughout has been strong. Checo has had a couple of good runs in this game. Very casual, but powerful serve. Yeah, no digging that one. Kavarek. Once again, has the ability to stay very high with his elbow to hit with power, but also turn the ball. Not quite the last throw of the dice, but as Axa, they make one. Uber. That's Robert Landy, Simon. Of course he has to commit to Simon. <laughs> and I think he's feeling rather proud of himself. The first one that Simon has missed, granted. Good blocking from Uber. Simon again gets blocked again from Zaxa. Uber, two from two on Robert Landy, Simon. Time out from Blengini. Can you believe it? Checo's just been going to his middleman all day long. And Huber's gone, I'm not any more of that. Checo surely can't go to the middle three times in a row. Well, he can, and that wouldn't surprise anybody with the Checo's mind. From Smith, what a run this is. David Smith has gone back. Saxa have made two blocks and Jan and Balasso are beaten again. They're back to one and what a comeback this is turning into. A run of four this for Zaxa. Robert Landy Simon bounces one, puts a bunker into the floor. And that's one way to silence the crowd, isn't it? I mean, Robert Landy Simon's gone. Okay, next time I hit this ball, I'm gonna hit it a little bit sharper and away from the blocker. Lucarelli. To the outside. Good hands in the block from Lube. Oh, hang on. We have a problem. And coach Georgie Kletu has some issues when Marcin Janusz goes down like he just has. Let's hope it's nothing too serious. Didn't personally see. What happened here? 
it looks like it could be the ankle, but everything seems to be okay, and that's good news. Lube fly to Lucarelli's serve was a very good one. And it's the same again, just putting the pressure. Robert Landy Simon is called off. These are the games that they just love playing in. Uber again. Well, Kluf has come in. I mean, also, how far me, Kluf? Two meters, ten centimeters. So, in theory, we know why he's in the game. Miss serve out the back from Lukas Kazmarek. And again, marching. Then he comes back in for Barfomi. Kluth and Lube have match points. Robert Landy Simon with a huge serve. And it finishes with a block for Lube. Zaitsev, Lentini, Lube have come to Poland and taken the victory. They were beaten in the quarterfinals of this competition last year, but Blegini looks delighted with this performance. Lube, impressive in the fifth. Three up the block. Zaitsev does the damage. Lube undefeated in the Champions League. What a game in five match of the week for a very very good reason lube take it 15 12 in the finale a game that we will not forget in a hurry zaxa have shown once more why they're champions and the checo takes some hard beans home for him for his hard work Well, some good performances throughout. Be disappointed if you are Georgi Kletu. But all in all, fantastic result for Lube. The win away in the Champions League is key. Some disappointment for Kashmarek and the rest of Zaxa, but at the same time, there's still plenty of time for them to be victorious in this Champions League. There's a reverse fixture coming very, very soon. Noticeable performances. Robert Landy, Simon in that fifth set, absolutely incredible. Marlon Yan showing his growth and his passing and defense, always a threat at the net as well. Fans are still scoffing corn and entertainment. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's difficult, but uh, we come here to play. Uh, Sax is a really good team, play really good. We play the, the max uh, we can today. Um, we win, so we are really happy. Uh, now we need to think to so Italian Cup, so come back to home, rest, and start again. What were the key factors of your victory today? Well, we keep playing. Uh, we play every every ball. We try to to put the best uh, we have uh, in the court and, and anything. We have really good teammates, really good players, so it's a good effort for everyone. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Delighted, Luciano Tacheco, and rightfully so. Well, a game 
that we will not forget in a hurry how good was Robert Landy Simon in the fifth. He's won this. He knows exactly what he's doing. And time after time, he's a leading figure for this Lube team in the league and the Champions League. Lucarelli and Jan strong on the wings, but also you have to give it to Zach that they really dug in. Norbert Huber frustrated that time, but a very, very good game this evening. The signing from Scrap Bell Hatoff. A glorious match. Rangini's just turned 50. It's a very good late birthday present for him. Sneaking the 3 2 away from home. Oh, there is the ball. First two set losses. Tonight for Lube, but they will not mind in the slightest. They lead the ball. They're almost guaranteed a spot in the next round. But will want revenge later on away in Chavitanova. But all in all, a good night in the office for Lube. Well, there's a confirmation of the score. Lube get a little bit of revenge on Zaxa for last year's quarterfinals defeat. It's been an absolute pleasure to bring you the match of the week here from Poland. And we do hope that you stay with us the whole way through the season because the Champions League is the best international club competition in the world the best players week in week out well, it's been a pleasure and we look forward to seeing you again next time Dość 